Okay, now. So, previously we stopped with the questions, the four questions asked by the Buddha. Kuto, from where? All right? Kata, where? Okay, then the next question is, the first question is, from where do you come? Agachasi, from where? Kuto, kata is question, where? Where will you go? Then the next one, na not janasi, you know. Okay, C is no. S I short I. So when the short I combine with the, this uh, long I plus it. So when these two combine, it becomes long I. Okay, so we come janasi. Jan. All right, so you not know. Then jana me, I know. Okay, so C is a second person. Me is a first person singular. All right, so you notice actually what you learn in the basic class is actually very helpful. Okay. Then the the third question and second the third question and fourth question actually is kind of like opposite. Not janasi, you know not, means that, don't you know? Okay, so another way we can just write it uh, more English friendly, okay? Don't you know? All right, not janasi ti, janasi ti, you know, means that, uh, do you know? So that, that's the question, all right? So when the Buddha asks her, not janasi, she answer. I know Janami. So when the Buddha asks her, Janasi, do you know? She answered, Not Janami. I know not means I do not know. Bande, whenever, sir. Right, so the Buddha asks four questions. So, Iti, Tas, Nam. Nam and actually, this Nam is same like Tam, okay? When the N change to T, means her, all right? Her. Sata, we see this Sata before. So the subject is a Sata, teacher, and then a her, Nam is her, the object here. Chataro, four. Panhe, questions. Alright? So from here, this is actually masculine. Uh, so, how many subject you can find? Only one subject. How many object here? So, this uh, I always third person singular. All right. Now, okay. Here, up to here. Now, I will ask for the student who learned before. How many subject? One subject. Okay. How many objects? How many objects? You all can answer. Anybody? Two. Two. Okay. What are two? Nam and Panhe. Hmm? Sorry? Nam and Panhe. Okay, Nam and Panhe. All right. Now, since if we have two objects, then it's confusing. So we have the subject here, okay? Now, this object. So what's the difference between this object and this object? So this is a teacher. All right? So anybody want to answer? Beside a brother O. Direct and indirect. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. Now you already answered. Okay, next student. Which, the brother O say direct and indirect. So which, which student, any other student know what is direct, what is indirect? Which one is direct object, which, which is indirect object? For those who learned before. Uh, okay, uh, okay, Sister Wong. <coughs> Uh, num, num is the direct object. You say uh, this is direct object. Uh, okay. Also, and... uh, question is the indirect object. All right. You put like this. Okay. Other student, do you agree?
Everybody agree or disagree? Vera, Vera Oi, do you agree or disagree? Okay. Uh, I had to ask those who learned before. I think she's not around. How about Sumita? Sumita, I think you should be able to answer this question. Do you agree or disagree? Um, I think the direct object pun hey, because okay. accusative ma is plural accusative. Okay, and then this indirect. Uh, yeah, the other one, the num and tam, is a uh, pronoun, or you can say that is a uh, indirect. Uh. Okay, actually both is. Both is actually acquisitive sing this is singular. So this acquisitive plural. Panya should be, I think, masculine. All right. Mm -hmm. But actually mm -hmm. it's nothing to do with the case here, no? Yeah. Uh, okay, so Panya. Because the case are quite same. Uh, this one should be Panya. It's a mm -hmm. Three, three. I think it's three. It yeah. should not be three here. It should not be three. I think it should be either one. All right. Okay. This object and this is object. All right. But what we can do is we can rephrase in this way. Okay. Thus, uh, okay, this one. Thus, the teacher, the teacher means the Buddha, asks, her ask four questions to her. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mm -hmm. if we can put in this way, then this one will be we can take it as dative. Yeah, dative. But here is of course it's an ecosystem. All right. All right. So this is a num here. Then we make sense. We have object, but one is direct object. It's it's like what we say, it's like the English statement you say, like uh I give things to you, all right? Like this, this kind of sentence. Things are direct object to you is indirect object like this. Normally, indirect object we put in the dative case, but here is a, as an accusative, uh, it's still okay, no problem. Just to know that sometimes we can have two objects, but the, they doesn't really, uh, I mean, the, the function is a little bit different, all right? Okay, any question? You know, I'll continue, okay. Right. Okay. Mahajano Ujayi Ambo Pasata Ayam Pesakara Dita Sama Sambuti Na Sadim Ichi Tichitam Katesi. All right. Mahajano Ujayi Ujayi Ambo Pasata Ayam Pesakara Dita Sama Sambuti Na Sadim Ichi Chitam Katesi. All right, now. Okay, so one by one, the student, you all tell me which Pali word you know and what is the English translation? One by one. Any of you can try? Anybody? All right. Sumita, you can try. Yes. Which one you know? Ambo. Is Ambo, a okay. Vocative. This one? Yeah. Yeah, vocative ambo addressing. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So this refer to who? Refer to what is, should be the English translation. And said. Hmm? Sorry. Uh, okay, ambo. Yeah, it's a vocative. So we call it like, uh, like what? Hello, dear, or hello, something like hello, to 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 attract the attention, you know. So here actually, I, I don't think there's a maybe case there. Oh, something like that, or dear, or whatever. How should we translate? Hello. Maybe say hey because she's younger, right? She's younger compared to other people. Maybe you can say hey, something like this. Okay, because she's quite young. Other will be quite senior. All right, so we have Ambo already. Okay, next one. Chai Hoon, you can try. 
Katesi. Hmm? Sorry? Katesi. Smoke. This one? Katesi. No, ka, ka, uh, oh, Katesi. Okay. All right. What is Katesi? Smoke. Talk. All right. Yeah. Say or spoke. Uh, wait. This one. Which one? All right. Okay, this one. Okay. Talk. But this is a past tense or not past tense? Huh? Yeah, it's a past tense. This is a past tense, yeah. All right, because before she talked already, okay? She talked. So we change it to past tense. All right? Talk. Okay. Now, okay, let's analyze this sentence first. Mahajano. Okay, what is Mahajano? Maudidu. Yeah, Maudidu means... Many people, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, maha is great, right? Maha is like a great. Jano is like people. So maha jano literally just say a lot of people. Okay, subject. And then the is was a uh, verb, all right? So actually is ujai, this one, okay? So we're offended. It's a past tense here. Okay, now. This one, when we check the, okay, areas of ujayati, okay, annoyed, grumble, okay. And that's, right. So, when we check the ujayati, the root is J, all right. This J actually sounds like jana, actually, sometimes to do with the word J, right, J. Right, so if we look at the J, why put the J here? Right, you can see the meaning actually something to do with the jhana, J, right, to muse, to think about it, right. But now I think about it, it's actually they think unhappily about her, right, grumbles or grumble about her. Okay, and you didn't see the word said here actually. You didn't see the word said. But it's understood from the conversation that this one they put in the this uh, quotation here means that they are saying about the whole thing. So they were grumbled, they were offended. Uh, another translation you can say you also the word grumble also. They grumbled and they said about her, all right? Ambo, hey, pasata, all right? What is pasata? I hope you all more look more positive, no? You all look inside the pasate, uh, you look. all see, you all see. You all Yeah, okay. Mm. Pasati? Look. Pasata you is look. Look. You look. Yes, yes. Look. Okay, from the hey, word look. pasata. Hey, look. Look. You, you. you look. Look you or you look. Okay. So who look? You all look. Yeah, everybody. Refer to other other audience who are there. You all look. Ajana. Hey. Yeah, you all look. Look at who? Look at the girl. Uh, this the the, the, this the girl. Yeah, okay. Pisakara Dita. Yes, okay. The daughter of the beaver. All right. Okay, now. Okay, mm -hmm. so we finished the sentence. Mahajana Ujjayi. All right. Now. And then she say. All right, this one. Ambo, hey, you look. Now, I am Pesakaradita. Sama Sambudena Sadim. Okay, now about Sadim, we see the together, all right? Together. So, if literally yeah. we have to please, uh, she thought especially together, direct translation would be together with, here is an instrumental case, all right? So, that's why the advantage of learning declension is you always see some of the certain things, same thing. Yeah, let me do it. Yeah, so this is uh sorry, this is the earlier one. Okay, so you have the so it's a vocative singular. So uh so now now pasata is it Present tense or is it imperative? What do you all think? Okay, Chai Hoon, you all basic class. You all should try. Is it present tense or is it 
imperative for this passata? Looks like present tense. Oh. Uh, are you sure? Imperative. Command imperative. Yeah, oh. it's an imperative. Okay, imperative, second person, pura. Means you all look. Okay, you. Okay, miss. You all look. Or if, uh, may you look. Okay, if you want to translate like, uh, may you all look. Okay. So, okay. Now, ayam pesata dita. Okay. Sama sambudena sadim. Ichita, ichita. All right. So, this one. Actually, this is a combined of two words. From the word, lipid. Ichita plus. Ichita plus this one. All right. So, what is the meaning of ichita? Okay. Reasons. It's a past. Pieces, okay. It's a, it's a, is it the, what kind of verb is it? Is it past tense, present tense, or future tense? What can it be with the ita suffix? PP. PP. Yeah, PP, all right. So PP means here will be wish, all right. So it coming from the present tense will be, you. I think we all see because ichati, all right. Ichati, and then you plus the ita. So means that wish and wish. So in Pali, this is something that you might see before. When you say wish plus another wish, right? So means is whatever she wish, whatever wishes. Means whatever she wish, she thought as she pleased. That's the meaning of this one, okay? This one. Okay, I just underline. She thought as is please for this ichita ichita, right? Whatever means that actually means that she say it's a verb here, means object here. Uh verb. This is a past ten aries. Third person singular. Alright. She talk whatever she wished. Alright. Okay, now who is the subject for this sentence up to here? Who's the subject? Pisakara Dita. Okay, yeah. Okay, she's the subject here. All right, because from the Dita is a nominative singular. It's a female nominative singular. Okay. Mm -hmm. And no, it's a singular. This mm -hmm. is a consonantal, consonantal from the D Dita. All right, it's a consonantal group. Consonantal yeah, all right. Yes, okay. It's not the normal. Yeah. This one, you, you all study in the Bali Made Easy. I think lesson what? Uh? 23. Lesson uh, 23. Yeah. 23 onwards, you will see all this. We call it the consonantal. Consonantal group. Right? Onwards with the R. This is called consonantal because it's ending with R. Okay, so you have this one. And like the mata, pita, mm -hmm. like pita, all okay? right? All these are consonantal group. Right? Like here also, you all see the what? Sata. It also Drop here. The R and uh, yes. compensated with long A. Yeah, all right. Okay. Now, sadim must together with masculine instrumental singular, all right? Sadim is together. So this is, we call it ing, indeclinable. Means that there's no... Uh, no declension. Sadim is always sadim. Okay. So, ambo, hey, pasada, you all, may you all look. I am Pesaka, Pesakaradita, the daughter of the weavers. Sama Sambudena, with the, okay, this is the one. Okay. Sama Sambudena. Sama is a, sorry. Sama is the how you call it con, uh, how you're going to translate Sama Sambuddha. Alright, so there are a few ways we can translate Sama Sambuddha. Uli. One way is a fully. Fully, yes. Okay. Fully completely or perfectly. Enlightened. How about some? Somehow it's translated the some. Self enlightened. Yes, self. 
uh, enlightened, all right, from the word Buddha. Enlightened means the word Buddha. So fully, perfectly self-enlightened Buddha. So, or we just translate the Buddha is okay. Together with Ena. Now, this Ena, when you study the declension, it's very easy. Just after a while, you always remember. Ena is always translate with. Instrumental. Yeah, right? With. Okay. Sama Sambudena Sadim. So together. Sadim is together. Okay. So I think this is not so difficult. Everything is so easy. I said the new thing you learn here is this Ambo. Ambo is a new word for you. Pasata coming from the Pasati. All right. Pasati. We see Pasati before. Pasati. G the yes. as she pleases or as she please uh, now should be past ten or what? Yeah, okay. She talk as she please. All right, yes. Or we can put another way. This daughter will talk uh okay. No, let's say I put this on. Talk whatever she she like, all right? Whatever she uh how you call it? she desire or she wish, you can translate in this way. Whatever she wish, she thought like that. Okay. Whatever she wish, wish ichita ichita wish and wish means wish. All right, from the word ichati, ichati is the he or she uh, wishes or sometimes yeah I think wishes is okay. Okay, ambo pasada. You all look. I am. I am is a pronoun qualified to pesakaradita. Sama sambudena sadim. So you have to recite sama sambudena sadim. Right? You cannot recite sama sambudena and you break here. Cannot. Sama sambudena sadim. Ichita ichita katesi. Okay. Okay. Nanu Nama Imaya Kutu Agachasi Ti Ute Pesakara Gehato Ti Watabam. Right? Okay, now this is the remember they asked about questions. So this is the first question. Kuto, where, from where? To is always translated to, it means from here. Ku is a K. K is always a question, okay? From where? Kuto. Kuto agachasi. So this is the first question. No? No, okay? This is the first question. So this is the first question. Okay, we can divide the two parts here. We can break here. Nano nama imaya kuto agachasi ti ute pesakara gehato. Okay, the question is kuto from where? Okay, and then she should answer pesakara gehato. To is also from. Okay, so you learn something about to. So this to suffix, okay, you see this to suffix. Sometimes we translate from. But to suffix another way we try as. For example, we see anicha to, duka to, okay, anata to. So we don't translate as from. It's an as impermanent, all right? As suffering, as non self. So this is the suffix to. All right? So here is always to is where's from you means uh, where do you. Come from, all right. Now, how you know it's a question? Nano, okay. Nano is indicate it's a question here. So it's it's kind of like you just translate. Now this nama, okay. So nama sometimes is name, but sometimes it just means like nothing here. Okay, sometimes has no meaning, so we can just leave it. Nama. All right. Now, imaya wute, all right. Okay, now this is this one we uh we leave it first, so we already know kuto is from where 
So agachasi means uh, you come. All right. Now, how about this imaya wute? For those who learn, what do you think? This imaya wute. What should it can? What's the meaning of this one? What is wute here? You check the answer here. What do you think? All right. The person asked. Hmm? Step. Sorry? Ask is it? Ask, yeah. Okay. It's ask. ask. Okay. Ask. But beside us also, there's another meaning, okay? Ute actually is also another past participle. That's why for basic class, you all should reach the past participle. Wachati PP is Ute. Uh, it's like this, VAC plus that, okay? And then become a, here somewhat change to the U, and then C and T. Become the TT. Pass but this word is always for for those who learn. You all refer to lesson fifteen. Okay, you can see the pass but this word here. So here is actually literally we say us. Okay, now but this is a what do you think is a case here? Uh, all right. This refer to need to somebody who learned before. What do you think is a case here? Is it singular? Uh, is it the Nominative or acquisitive, or is it something else? Where do you see the E when you see check the declension? All right, it's very easy. You just open the declension and then uh, check the one with the E. All right, locative. Yeah, yeah. it's the, this one. It, it's like the bude in the locative E here. All right, locative. So this one is locative. Look at this singular. So we can say like us. Okay. But here is another grammar. We call it the locative as a look. It's a locative to indicate it's the time. So we try and say when. Right? That's why we put the word when us. So this is the one. Okay. When us. Now, how about this Imaya? All right, so the question is, where do you come from? So, would they when they ask? Nanu is a question here. Nama has no meaning, all right? So, we can just put here. So, how about this Imaya? Imaya of what? Dative, I think. Dative. Um, so, what does this Imaya refer to? To her. To her. Right. Okay. When asked to her, when ask her Imaya. Her? her? Mm. Okay. Either her or another one is refer, maybe refer to question also. When this question was asked, okay, Imaya may be referred to. Our thing is refer to the question, all right? When this was asked, okay, when this question, when Imaya may be delivered to this, right? When this question is uh, was asked, Kuto Agachas, all right? Maybe another way, to her. But to her, actually, I don't think so. so. Imaya, we have to check what is the Imaya gender, you know? What do you think is the gender? You know, I think Ima, Ima plus yeah. Aya, there are five uh, declension. That means from, it's possible, the it's five possible. possibilities, the five declensions. So we have to see which one. Imaya. Yeah, it's a T. It Aya. can be three gender, right? Yeah. It can be feminine or it can be normally plural feminine. But I think this feminine here, right? 
feminine feminine or masculine? feminine is talking feminine about singular. the daughter of the daughter leader. huh okay so but refer to yeah. then refer to to her okay refer to her so refer to this this uh this girl all right so in my L means this is a pronoun here so refer to this girl Maybe here refer to means say to her, like just now say dative to her, okay? It's a dative case to this girl. Okay? Nanu nama imaya, dative to this girl. Kuto agasi, where do you come from? Would they when he asks? Right? Then she answer. Pesakara. Alright? Geha. Geha is a House, okay. House. Pesakara, you know the word right? weavers. So Geha is a house. To is from. Now this watabam. Watabam is what kind of what kind of verb? You know? What kind of this? How we call this? Potential participle. For the future. She should potential have participle. FPP. Potential. Uh, FPP, alright. So should translate as ought to be answered, right? Or should to be answered okay this means that she should answer in in a way so if the buddha asks her where do you come from kuto where do you come from then she should answer pesakara gehato same answer is okay from where then she should from her house there's a weaver pesakara geha right Right, okay. If no, we continue, all right? Now. <laughs> okay, now second question is. Okay. Now second question is a kata gamisasi. Where will you go? Okay. Miss Isa is a future tense, all right? A future tense. So kata, where will you go? Okay, it's a very simple question. So if the Buddha asks kata, where will you go? And what should she answer? Okay, that's a question. Question number two. Same, you know, you can see it's finished with wood day also. So we should break here. Okay, cut down where we where will you go? Mm. Okay. Right. Where will you go? Okay. Would they same thing when he asks her, where will you go? And then, what tabam? All right. She should answer. Now you got another one. See ya. Right. Pesa kara taram. Okay. Now, this is uh, the one you can see. Right. What is this antique? You know, sometimes we see the T and what is this and T. So if we combine, we can put it pesa, kara, salan, T, right? It should be the, uh, yeah. Then this one change it to N, all right? Change it to N, all right? Pesa, kara, sara. Sara means it's the, normally the sala is a kind of like hole. Here translate is a workshop. Sala means it's kind of like open sheet uh, with just a roof and uh, no much uh, wall and so on. All right, like Dhamma. Sometimes we call it the food dining hall. We call it like Bojana Sala. Okay, so there's a dining hall. So it's a kind of like sheet here. Or you can translate the another one. It's a sheet. Okay, what tabam? She should answer. Now, what is this siya? Okay, where do you see this siya? What do you think this siya should be? It's in the basic class, you know? Optative. Optative. Yeah. Optative, yeah. All right. Uh, you see in the optative. Lesson what? Six? Uh? Seven, I think. Seven. Optative could be, maybe, might be, should be. Yeah, okay. So you see. Uh, this one, all right. Siya, all right. See ya. Page 13. 
Sia asa siyum asu asam siyam su. Sia asa asada siya asam asama. So this is called anomalous forms. Means that it is not in a normal like a a on the top. On the on the top here is very normal where you can spot immediately. All right. So here is some changes here. Okay. So siya can be second person or third person. Okay. So what do you think? Is it second person or third person here? Third person. Hmm? Sorry? Second or third? Third person. Third person, yeah. It but should be a... She should them. answer, right? She yeah. should answer. So, refer to... Not not you. Refer to a third person. So, it's a... What? Updative third person. Singular, singular. right? Yeah. She should answer. She should answer in a way, okay? I'm going to... Pesakara Salam. I should go into the weaver's workshop because the Buddha asked her, Kaham, where? All right, where? Uh, not, not where you go, where you go. Okay, direct translation is where? Where you? So, actually, if you can remember that this C is go, or oh, like go, okay, gacha is go, C is you, where you go, would they is when asked. So if we like this, easy. Kaham we gacha go see you. Iti is a question. Ute is when asked. Pesakaram. So uh, we was a workshop or shit. Anti is her, her answer with the iti. Now you can see all the iti here. So many iti. All right. So this is a question with the iti. Here also you have the iti. All right. And this is also another iti. All right. All right. So she should answer properly. So if the Buddha asks where you go, she should say, I should go to the workshop place. All right. Okay. Okay. So people, they are, they are com complaining, you know, the Mahajana. Sayaji. The people. The... Sayaji. Yes. This Pasakara, sorry, yeah, yeah, very painful though. Pasakara Salam, um, maybe when you break that word, it should be Salam Iti, right? Salam Iti, yeah, Salam Iti, yes, Salam and Iti, yes, okay, plus um, Iti, Iti, yeah. okay. But um, when you combine, you can just drop the T and then this one change it to the oh, N, N. Uh, yeah, N. okay. All right, so yes, so you have to eat it, eat it, eat it because it's a inside the quotation. Okay. All right. So sata, you see sata before teacher, mahajanam. Okay. Earlier we also see this mahajana before. So yeah. 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 This one, mahajano. Mm. Here you notice it mahajano. The difference is even though mahajano refer to many people. It's actually masculine. How you know it's masculine? Because of all, okay? It's a nominative singular. Even though it's singular, you translate as many people. And the English is translated as plural here, okay? So, Pali is singular, but English you should translate plural because it refers to many people. So, Mahajana, another word you beside the this one, you can just say many people. Maha means, actually Maha, Maha from the, this, yeah. Maha a few meaning mahanta. Sometimes great, sometimes big. Okay. Sometimes we say like lofty. Let's say if they like refer to maha, maha like maha or uh some of the thing maha lofty or big one. Right. So depends on occasion we ch change it. All right. So maha jano here is a normally singular as a subject here, and then here is. Mahajanam, right? You can see the case has changed already. Right, so Sata is a normally singular subject. Mahajanam is acquisitive. M, my acquisitive singular. Now, Nisadam Katua, right? So, anybody recognize this word? This is actually a combination of, it's a Sunday. Two words together. 
Me, so anybody? me and Sada. Me and Sada. Sada sound. Okay, Sada. Yes, okay. So you combine S as Sada is sound. Okay. So maybe uh, no, no sound. No sound. Silent. Or, no or far. Or far. Mm -hmm. Okay. From sound. Something like that. Or just say no sound. Very easy. Okay. No sound. No sound means? Silent. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Keep silent. Yeah. Keep silent. Now, katwa here. Actually, katwa from the word uh, karoti. Right? Uh, for those, you all learned already the tua. The kar plus tua. Right? So, in Bali, when you combine, you have a triple consonant. K-A-R. T V A. So you cannot have triple consonant in body. So you have to drop the R because R is the weakest sound. Okay? Katua. So katua direct translation is uh after after making. Okay. So if we're going to put the direct translation will be after making uh the audience or okay, the the what the multitude. No sound. Okay. Direct transition will be like this. No sound or keep quiet. Right. So katwa is karoti. When the word karoti means does or make. So after making multitude, no sound means uh, after making the multitude silent. So if we're going to translate this way, it looks uh not smooth. So just put the multitude, multitude to silent. Alright, it's understood. Okay, now the Buddha. So the Buddha already the subject and first action. Katwa. Uchi. All right. All right, so this one we finish. Kumarike. Tuam puto. Agachasi ti ute. Kasma na janami ti wadesi uchi. Alright. So, where ask, where do you come from? So, kumarike. Alright. Now, what is the case for kumarike? Vocative. Yeah. Addressing. So, female, vocative, singular. singular. Yes. In the masculine, you notice that masculine and neuter is always same, okay? Masculine and neuter is always a short vowel A, you know, I or U, all right? So, only in a female female case, right? That's a, for female, this is a female. For kanya with a long A, nominative, vocative is E here, all right? So, it's a, Kind of like signal when you see e, you know it's a female here, right? So vocative kumarike. So that's why sometimes they say like for female aya. So you can uh, aye. So it's like vulnerable madam something like that. Uh, vulnerable something they call it vulnerable lady something like that. Okay, aye. Kumarike. Tuam. Okay. Right. So the. Tom is you. Kuto is from where? Uh, you ha. come, okay? You come, okay? So, would they? We already see would they before. Just translate when, when asked, okay? Okay? When asked, where do you come from? Okay? That, that's the question. When asked, uh, madam, when asked, where you come from? Okay. Now, Kasma is another one. Why? So, we see this question many times. If you notice, uh, which one in a lesson? Which lesson? Uh, we all the katam katam what? Try six. Uh. Lesson six. Uh. <laughs> Reductive. Reductive. Yeah, okay. Six. Yeah. Six. Okay. Okay, so always refer. It, I showed last week already, so never forget about this. This is also very basic, okay? There's another one, I think, on some of the lessons, you also see lesson the eight. word Kasma. Huh? Lesson 8. Uh? Lesson 6 also. No, lesson Kasma. 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 Sorry? 
Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, you all look at it. Yeah. Okay. Kasma, why? Okay. Kasma is always why. Now, Kasma, what do you think is the case here? Ability. What is the, yeah, it's a bad ability, but it's not translated as ability. It translates why, okay? Why. Why, yes. Why. Okay, why? Now, okay. Kasma na janami. Yeah. Why? Okay. This is why. No janami is I know. Okay. Now what they see is you. You see. It should be past that. Okay. You said. You said I I don't know. Okay. Now iti we when you see iti you just put a quotation like this. Okay. No, I know no. Why you say okay? Why you say means why did you say? I not not means I don't I don't know, okay? Because the Buddha asked where you coming from, and then she say I don't know. So who asked the question? Puchi, Puchi is a eldest third person singular asked by the Buddha from the word Puchati, alright? The root Puchati Puchi eldest, right? Now she said, now she start to reply her answer. Actually, she's very clever. Yeah, she's very wise. Yeah. Bande tumhe mama pesakara ge hato agatam bawam janata kuto agata si ti puchanta pana kuto agantua ida nipata si ti puchata. Right. Okay, this is a long sentence so we can break here at the comma we can also break at this here we also can break at the okay here so we go by one okay here is there any words you don't know right which word you don't know All right, bande, vulnerable sir. Now, tumhe, is it singular or plural? Plural. Plural, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a plural, okay. But she is talking to the Buddha. Buddha is singular. So here is a plural to show is a, the purpose of this plural to show is a respectable, respectful way, all right. So when they they going to address somebody, Instead of using singular that like tuam, not tuam, okay? So instead of talking about tuam, tuam is a singular. So she's not using tuam, she's using tumhe. So you, all right? So we don't need to translate you all, you know? So it's mm -hmm. a respiratory way to say you, okay? Tumhe, bante, whenever sir, you, okay? So what is it, right? Mama. What's mama? My genitive. Yeah, okay, my, my, okay, my is a genitive singular, all right? So, uh, genitive singular. Now, to, all right, what is to here? We see this to ability. many times already. From the house yes. of the river, ability. Yes, okay. So, yeah, it's very easy to recognize from, okay? Okay, my, uh, we was... Now, Geha is a house. So, from. Now, what is Agatha? Come. Agatha. From. Came, okay. Came. Coming, came. or you say Agatha is came. Now, Bawa. What is Bawa? Bawa can stay, uh, like, sometimes Bawa can translate, uh, how do you call it Bawa? State. Bawa, B H A. So, no. condition, nature, becoming. Maybe it's yeah, maybe it's just nature or may state, okay? State of coming, all right? So, you, janata. Janata means no. You know, yeah. You, 
No, okay. So you can see here is poorer, Ta is poorer, Tumhe is poorer, but this is referred to the Buddha. Buddha is singular, but that's how they address using the poorer way. So Bande, you know, we start from here, you know uh my my state of coming from Weaver House. Okay. Bande, Bande is a venerable sir. Tumhe, you uh, Janata, you know Agata Bawam uh, coming, the state of coming from the house, okay? So this is the question. All right. Kuto, okay? Kuto, to is also like just now from, right? From, from where? From where? Agadasi, right? So we, we go word by word, okay? Kuto is a. From. From where? Agadasi came. Si here is si, like dear and this si, okay? So you, okay? So it is a. Okay, it is a quotation, right? Okay, so from where, where, where you come from? Okay, means the uh, where did you come from? Okay, so th this is question. Where did you come from? Now, what is puchanta? Puchanta we already see earlier on. We have the puchi. Okay, we see we have the puchi. Puchi is a questions ask question. So it's same thing. BRP. Even though it's antasatics, okay? Present. All right. Present tense, yeah. Present participle. All right. So how should you translate? When you when you ask, when you're asking, okay. So when you're asking, where do you come from? Okay, pana, you know. Okay, pana, we can take it like, uh, however, okay. However, okay, this one. So we can just. Okay. All right. Okay, so she she know that the Buddha, the Buddha, you ask, you ask this question. Kuto, what the Buddha really asked this question. Kuto agantua ida nibatasi. Right. Kuto is, like just now, from where? Okay. Right. Ku, we don't translate, okay, where? To is. From okay, from where? Agata Agata is come. Tua we can say uh, uh after coming. Ida is here. Nibatansi means reborn. Okay, were reborn. Okay, so if we try translate it this easy. It is a question here. It's a like quotation. You ask okay. So. Kuto agantua, where do you come? Uh, where do you come? Where do you come? Where do you come from? All right. After, okay, wait, wait, wait. After coming from where you are born here. Means that which rebirth you come from or which place, where do you come when you are reborn here? Okay. You are reborn in this world. So here refer to this world. So kuto is refer to which place you're coming from. Refer to the previous world or previous life. All right. So in fact, the question is, if we're going to paraphrase is, uh, where, where you, where did you come from? Uh, why quite? Where you come from? How call you? 
after bonding here. All right. Okay, then just leave it like this. Okay, yeah, just leave the question like this. Okay. All right. So, Miss, that where do you come from? Before. And where you come from and born in here, right? Aham pana, pana is always. You see pana many times. Sometimes pana you can translate however. Sometimes you can translate but. Alright, aham pana but. Okay, aham is not janami, so I don't know. Okay, direction I, however or but, not no. no. Okay, so I don't know. It's the same statement. Kuto agantua, alright. Ida, ibe. So the difference is between this one and this one only, right? So kuto from 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 where? Agantua, kam, ida is here. Nibata sit here is a. This is a. Present tense second. No, no, should be the past tense. Aries, second person singular. But here is different. Here is the Aries, first person singular, right? So, I was reborn. Okay. This one coming from the word ni ba ta. Alright, Nibatati. Reborn. Nibatati. I'm hit. No, no, no. Should be no Nibatati. I'm hit. Uh, I'm hit. 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 I'm Right, past then of past then of the this one. Nibata. Nibawate. Okay, what is the root can be? Right, the root is what? Nibana. Ni ni and what? Right. Ni, ni plus what? Ni root what? Plus what and a and d. Okay, so the meaning what is? What okay? Ni ba ta di. What? The what double T or single T? All right. Take it double T. To turn to exist. All right. To turn to exist. I think to exist. Okay. All right. To exist. To roll. How about what? To turn, it seems to have two one. Either you put what or what, so either you check what or what. So you all can check yourself which is better one. Is it what or what? Okay, nibata. So today this is a new one. Alright, this is a new one that we never see before. Amhi. Alright, what is amhi? I am. Amhi is. I am. I am. Okay. So I am okay. I am is a first person singular. What kind of tense? Is a yeah, anomalous a... verb. Present tense, right? Yes. The first person singular. Okay. So here means I am reborn. Okay. Now let's say nibata is is a past tense. So we translate was reborn. But I'm he is I am, okay? So when you combine, how you call it? Here, translate as I was reborn, okay? I was reborn, yeah, it's okay. We just take it, I was reborn, yeah. Okay? So when uh, I don't know where I come from, okay? And and I, I don't know where I come from previous life, uh, before I get reborn here, where I come in from the previous life, all right? Okay, because the question is where do you come from, right? Where do you come from? Kuto, where you come from? So she says she doesn't know. She doesn't know which life she coming from. So that's her answer. 
That's why she say I don't know. Okay. Saya so, Ji. Saya yes. Ji. The first yes, part. Wong. Uh, the first part pucanta. Uh, mm -hmm. The pucanta. Uh, when you ask me, can can this be also considered a uh, locative actually of time? It's not locative, but it's a present participle. This one. It's an absolute. Yeah. As, no. Uh, uh, puchanta. The first part, yeah, the puchanta. Is it a uh, locative uh, or absolute of time? Is it? Can, can that be considered? Puchanta. When you, okay. so when you ask me. Kuto agasi puchanta. When you are asking. Okay. Now, it's not locative. We can take it nominative. No. Nominative absolute of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, puchanta may be referred yes, uh, to the Buddha. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nominative singular. Pura. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm, All right. Thank you. Yes. Okay, okay. <clears throat> okay, now. Ata sa sata sadu sadu kemarike maya puchita panyo wa taya wisa jito ti patamam sadu karam tatua. All right. So if you want to say congratulate, and that's how they say in this Bali sadu karam tatua. All right. Okay. So we do something simple, all right? So the subject will be sata. Now you have this tatua. Right? So but we don't see tatua here. Okay. Right. Sata is teacher. Now asa. Okay, asa is to her. Because she's a female, so we put a long A here. So we can take it as a dative uh so atta atta a t t a is a two words actually atta plus a asa. So this is a then to her. Sata is teacher, right? And then the then the teacher what she he did is a patama, you know, like patama dutia. So first or first time, they say for the first time. First time. Sadu karam. So direct translation with sadu is like is a oh, well done. Sadu karam. Now sadu we always say sadu sadu sadu. What's the of sadu? Uh, sometimes sadu it also means good. So good, thoroughly. Sometimes you say yes. When you say yes, you also can say sadu. All right. So maybe we say good, good, good. All right. Meritorious, another one. Request also. Sadhu kara. All right. You can sometimes when you look at this Pali text society, uh, society dictionary, look for down here. You can see the this one when they put the dash dash means to add on the word sadhu. All right. Sadhu and kara. Well, approval, children, approach. All right. Okay. So well. All right. So. So sadu kara, maybe well, and then kara is a kara, kara, well done, all right. Well, direct one, well done, kara, karoti, okay, kara, well done, and that two from the word having given. That if we see the root is da, all right. Like the word we say dana, like we say dana. Dana is a donation, so or giving, right? So it's same root da having given uh something that I say well done or approval. Here, okay. So the teacher give the first uh here direct translation of congratulates. Maybe another way we can say approval or something like that. Uh, okay. okay, approval. Okay, that's another translation. Okay. 
All right, so this way we finish uh, atasa sada pataman sadu karam datwa. So when we translate, you, we just ignore the the one in the in a quotation. So ata sada tata pataman sadu karam datwa. So the teacher uh congratulate her. Okay. And then before that, the teacher start to say this one. Sadu sadu, all right. Kumarike. So direct translation will be well, well said or well done. Kumarike. So madam. Now, Maya, we know. Okay. What we see this puchita before, okay? What is puchita? We see this before. Did we see? We see the puchi before, right? We see yeah. the word puchi. Yes. Okay. So puch is always with the meaning of the root puch is always same with the meaning of what? As. Okay. That's only one. This root is always with one meaning. So it's very easy to remember. Puch. Mm -hmm. Right? So the root puch to us. To us. And then when you put the ita means uh as uh how you call it questions which right? ita as okay ed as right okay so Maya we skip first so as pan this one have you seen this word before? Yes. Ask question. Okay. Yeah, it's a question, all right? So this word you see in one of the book, what? Melinda Panya. Do you know what kind of book it is? Questions. Question by the? Melinda. King, king, king Melinda. Melinda. Yeah, okay. He's a, supposed to be a great king, all right? Questions by King Melinda. Right? So, Panya, pan, pan, Panha. Pen, uh, Panha, all right? Now, so why this Owa? Why this Owa? Iba? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, it's combined two words. So, actually, it's three words here. If you divide it's actually three words. You got this Uchita plus Panho plus Eva plus Ewa. Okay. This means that when you learn like this, O and E combined can become A and E combined. A plus E here become O. Alright. So you can see this uh what you call assimilation. Alright. So here will be uh Ewa, we can take it as O, right? Or the what you call it? You have answered correctly, right? The question I asked, maybe that question, all right? You can take it that question. Because all the audience cannot answer. They don't answer at all. You can say only she answered that question or uh just kind of empathy here. Right. Uh this Maya Taya. You have answered question I had asked you, right? Now, what is this one? This is a new word you never see before. We sa chito. You notice that H3 with the ta suffix also. We sa chito means we sa chita, all right? From the word, uh, present time will be we sa jati. What is visa jati? Release, given away. Yes. Uh, is it double S? Yeah, visa jati. Right. Uh, yes. Should out, emerge, throw, let go, dismiss. Okay, that's one answer where you release something. Another meaning is to answer. Okay. So actually, you can see kind of like three meaning here. Uh, first meaning will be. So even like this kind of things, if you notice that there are few answers, something is to do with to let go. 
Second meaning is to answer. Third meaning will be uh, to spend, right? To spend. To spend is also same like let go, right? But here is to answer, okay? So answer, right? So it's a past participle, we make it ed, answer. Okay, now the problem is all this pronoun, taya, maya, uh, taya, maya and taya, what is this? Tanya is to her. Feminine dative singular. To her. Sadu sadu kumarika. Maya puchita panyoyewa taya wisachito. Okay. What do you think is the case, uh, Sumita? Oh, which one? This Maya. one, just now you say taya. Tanya is to her. Feminine dative singular. Uh, no, I don't think it's a I don't think pronoun. it's a dative. Pronoun to her? No, Said no. Answer, her. answer, answer by her. Answer by her. Oh, that means instrumental. Yeah, should be answered. This question, my question, so Maya will take it as so my, Maya is uh by me. So instrumental. Yes, us by me. All right, us by me. So answer by her. Okay, by her. They make sense. Okay, the question asked by me. So the the question. So is this all? Maybe here is O, we can take it as a O. Okay, we can take it O is really O. Okay, O is a subject here. Maybe we can take it as O here. So it's a question asked by me. So is answered by her, right? Okay. But Taya here means a U, all right? So it's a U. Can Taya be you also? Can. Can, okay. So, she check the Taya. So, look for this one. Taya instrumental uh, singular. Hmm? Cannot find. Let's look for Tuam. The second uh, personal Tumha. Okay, so for this one, if you want to check the you, you know, you, however, I think the Resell book have a better declension, all right? So look for the Duracell book. Okay, I need to open this one. So it's good to have few grammar book together. So for the declension on pronoun, okay, aham, okay, okay. Now you can see the for you, page forty seven. Instrumental got twaya taya, right? This one should be this one taya by you, right? So maybe by you. Okay. Instead of her, by you. Right? So direct translation will be say uh for this segment up to here to here. For this one up to here. So up to here. So we try and say okay. Questions ask by me is okay was answered by you okay direct translation right we start from this all we take it all is a subject here okay all then a what we just delete the e all right so questions asked by me maya was answered by you taya 
So this taya is a is a problematic because it can be look like to to you or by uh like just now may by by her, but actually it might be referred to you also. Because we follow follow the translation is this taya will be you. Okay. You you have answered, okay. This one was answered. You have answered. Hmm, you have answered. Okay, okay, okay. You have answered. Okay. You have answered correctly. Where is the correctly? Correctly will be this a one. You know. Then correctly we take it as this uh a one. A one is an emphasis. Okay, a one. Okay. So you have answered correctly the question I asked. You right, you can see there's a two you here. So in Pali, this taya refer to you. That's why pronoun actually pronoun it looks simple, sometimes it's actually complicated. <laughs> All right, okay. Any question on this? I think we finished this one already. Tas ata then asa sa is a dative, can be dat dative or genitive. Here is a dative case. Sata teacher. Sadu sadu well done, well said. Kumarike. So Kumarike will be vocative sing female. Maya putita panyowa. Taya wisajito ti. Alright, finish. Then patamam first time. Sadu karam datwa. The Buddha says sadu sadu or approval for the first time. Okay. Yeah. Because what she answered, when the Buddha asked her, but where you coming from? She said, I don't know, okay? I don't know where I come because she didn't know where she coming. Is it from human or is it from the animals or from, I don't think it's from animal, maybe. But normally she, she will come from the human world, but she says she doesn't know. Now, Utarim Pi Puchi Kata Gamisa Siti Puna Putta kasma na jana mi ti wadi si ti. Okay. Now, where should we start? This one. Now, you see puchi just now. Puch is suffix is always uh, questions. So, here is the past then. So, the translation will be utari. Pi will be uh, utara. You know the word utara. Utari. We have Utara and Utari. More, more over, okay? Went over. Okay. So, so another. So, more, or you can say, us. Is that translation will be us, okay? He asked more. P is a emphasis. He asked more, or he asked more over. More, some more. He asked some more. Us okay now now you can see so many it here so you have how many it this is one it here there's another it here that's why this sometimes translation with a lot it is a headache because three. so many it three so where should we start so we finished this part already. Okay, we finished this part already. So we, we just need to figure out this sentence to here. Okay. So Okay, we can Kas kata gami sami ti puna puta. Okay, so we can break here. Okay, now it's, it's like this, it's clear. All right, then after that, you have the question because puta is question. So every time in the question in the middle, 
it's a verb here, so we can stop here. Okay. Right now. So we start only this part and this part. It's so easy. Kata is uh where. Okay. So here will be. So all this ancient English not easy to understand. Okay. So where. Kata is where. Uh, you will go. Okay. Gamisa isa. Isa is future tense. All right. It's a future tense. C is a you. So, direct translation in where gam is a go, isa is a will. So, where will you go? Now, again, puna is a again. So, direct translation will be where go will you. Okay. Iti puna is again. Us. Okay. Now, this puta we see just now. Now, by this puta, is, is it same thing like push? Yeah, it's a past participle. Okay. Same thing. So far, we see how many things we see already. We see the, this is a PP. Okay. So just now we see Puchi, Elris. Just now we also see another one, Puchanta. Right. So it's a present participle. So when you see like this few times, you start to understand Puta, Puchati, Puchi, Puchanta, all right. Now it's a I ask. So the Buddha already asked the questions. So where will you go? So this is a, a second person, future, second person singular, singular. So this is a PP here. So when I ask where will you go? Okay, now the Buddha said Kasma. You see this Kasma again. Why? Okay. Why? Now, no, I know, okay? No, I. This is a quotation, what they see. You say, okay? So the question is, you said, you said, uh, why, okay? We said that, why? Why you said? Why did you say? Why did she say? I don't know, okay? Why? So we have to, this is, Inside the it, all right. So, kasma is why you said I don't know, all right? No, I don't know. Okay, I why do you say I don't know? When the Buddha asks, where will you go, all right? Where will you go in the future? Where will you go? He's supposed to answer that I will go to my father's or father place. Then she said I don't know. No, that's her answer. Okay, so how many pages? Uh, okay, we can still continue next week. <gasps> All right. Okay. Monday. Now, you see this Tumhe again. Monday Tumhe. Mam Tasara Pachim Dahitwa Pesakara Pesakara Salam Gachantim Janata. Ido gantua kata nibat tik sa si tik puchata. All right, so we just now this sentence like this. Where should we break? You know, where should we break this sentence? Where should we divide it? Gahitua. Okay, we should start. Yes, we should divide at the Jaren place. All right, this is a what's the meaning of gahitua? Jaron or Gahanti, having taken. Okay. okay. So the next one will be? Janata. Okay, Jan there's another another word here, right? Okay, so what is Janata? No. You know, okay? Right, you're okay, you know. So, Bante, Venerable Sir, Tumhe, you, you, so actually, you can see the whole sentence should be like this. So, all right. You, you know, okay. All the way to you know. So what do you know? You know, okay. Now you can see, you can take it that this whole thing refer to what the Buddha know, right? Okay, then 
So you know, you know something, okay? So we can start with this. Gachanti, all right. You everybody know the meaning of gachanti. Gachan is what? Go. Go, all right. So mm, go. Gacha is always go. Feminine. Okay, so you put the go. So then after that, what do you have? Feminine. Gacha is go. Then this, why this one? Present, part present participle, but it's feminine. Accusative. Yeah, the present participle for? Female. Female, all right. So it's a female. Because it's coming from the word, what? So we have the word gachanta. Then you plus the I. Because it's a female. So gachan. T. Then you plus the accusative case. All right. So. So direct translation will be. You. Bande you. Going. Okay. Going. Right. Direct translation will going. Okay. Because this is a pleasant participle. Then mom will be my, okay? Mom, mom gachanti. Maybe uh, mom gachanti. So we take it as my, okay? Or uh, I, okay? Or me, all right? Me going, me going, okay? Where she go? This one. Pesakara salam, okay? She go to the... Yeah, she go to the Weaver workshop. It's an acquisitive case. Alright, now, Gahetua. So, how shall we translate? Having taken. Okay. After taking. Right. So, I go to the workshop here. Uh, after, we can put the word, okay. After... Or taking, all right? So after taking. Okay. What she take? Okay. So we know the pachi already. Tasala is the shutter, all right? And then this is a basket. It's a kind of like small basket they carry on the hand. It's not a big one, right? So after taking me, so you know my uh let's say my going to the workshop after taking the shutter basket. So you know already. Okay. So means that he she knows she understands the Buddha already know she's going to the workshop. So the Buddha should ask the this question, right? So you ask. Pucha. So you ask, okay. Maybe this me is refer to this me, you know. I think this me maybe refer to this me. Alright. Mom. You have the mom here. So if the mom here, then this one we just don't need to mom. Then mom should refer to this puchata. Puchata tumhe puchata. You ask me, mom. Alright. So from here, tasala, this one is the state of going. Okay, so you ask me. Okay, what she ask? Ito ganto a kata ni madasi, all right? Okay, so she say she she know the Buddha is asking her this question. Ito is where? What is ito? You can see this to already. Yeah. Here. From here. here. Yeah. Yeah. From here, right? We see this in lesson six. That's why I say all these are very uh, basic Pali. Okay. So, Tua Gam is come after going. After going. After going, okay. After going from here. From here means this life. So, where? Kata is where? Uh, will reborn, right? So this is a second person, future. So future, 
second person sing singular, all right? So means here refer to this word, right? So this uh, here refer to this this life. So after going means that after passing away from this life, where were you reborn? She she understand the Buddha is asked this question, all right? The Buddha is asked, uh, you ask. The Buddha means refer to you, refer to the Buddha. The Buddha asks, the Buddha is asking her this question. Ito gantua kata nibati sasi. Right? Okay. Aham cha ito chuta na janami kata gantua nibati sami. Right. So I think this is all you all know. So any new words you all don't know? Okay. So mm -hmm. ahan cha is a uh, two words. What is ahan cha? Aham plus cha. Aham plus cha. Okay. So you see this. Okay. Nasal consonant when it combine. It need to change to the cha cha group, all right? Cha is a what you call it, gutra. How you call it? Uh, which word? Se. How cha is which group? Ah, uh? cerebral is it? Cerebral group. Palate. Right? Cha is palate. Palate, all right? Palate, yes. Okay. So the M become the nya. Follow the palate group. All right. So ito means we see ito from, from here. here. What is chuta? Chuti. Mati. Die. 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 Pass away. So, Chuti. so what is ta here? The ta there is pp. Okay, so... Uh, Chu plus ta. Pass. Okay, pass I pass. I plus from here, so the word is chu. Yes. It, it's not the Malay word chuti. <laughs> Chuti mati. Chuti mati, yeah. <laughs> chuta, okay. Chuta, all right. Okay. Na is not. Okay. No. Janami is no. no. So I, I know not. So no. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. After passing from here. Oh no. Kata is same way. I uh, go. And did I say? Reborn. reborn. Yeah. Reborn will. Reborn, okay. Now, since this is a future tense, it's sad already future tense, so we can just di direct translation with will. Yeah. Where will go and reborn? So I don't know, okay. I don't know where will I reborn. I don't know. After I means that this refer to this here or this present assistant, okay. This life. So after passing away from this life, I don't know where will I go and reborn. All right, so that, that's a question, okay? Okay, I think we can stop today. <laughs> All right, so you notice that there's a lot of grammar here, but actually if you can just enjoy the Pali words, and then uh, then as we go along, we can start to new uh, learn new words and see how they link to each other. Gahet tua, you know, you see a lot of uh, tua already. Okay, the root is... Ga. Plus, now instead of itwa, we change it to, uh, but it might be because of another. Is it a causative? Kahetwa. Having taken. Kahetwa. Kahetwa. Is a is a excellent of kaheti. All right. Kaheti. Kaheti. Okay. Ka right? Causative of Kahati. But this is does not have long A here. Kaheto. Ka, tua, yeah. To take. Okay. 
okay? It, it's not the causative. It's just normal. Ga and itua. Ga always to take, all right? So after taking, all right? Okay, enough. Okay, I think enough today. So uh, today, Subang will share the marriage slide. Right? Do you want the long one or short one? <laughs> <laughs> Your choice. <laughs> like this. Okay. Anyway, it's, it, it's been a long lesson. So let's recollect our thoughts. <laughs> 